to Matt. Lex. Are you in your pack and play? Is him in his pack and play? Lex a bird. Lex, where's him at? Where's him at? Bubba Boo. Bubba Boo. Good morning, you guys. Let me see if I can zoom this out. Alright, guys, so. Good morning. I didn't realize that my camera is at half battery. But we're going to vlog today. Today is the 4th of July. I don't know if I, I don't know how much we're going to get done um, via, like, fireworks and all that. I don't think we're going to cook out because tomorrow we have a family reunion going on. But I will say this. Today I'm going to talk a serious topic about my CMT, my Charlotte Morning Tooth. And I do know we're going to clean on this vlog. I'm going to try to find the kids' camera so they can vlog for their channel. And... I don't know what else, guys. I don't know what else. Say good morning. Good morning. I'm four months old today. Good morning. Good morning. Tiki. Tee -tee -tee. Aubrey just woke up. We have a mound of clothes over there and stuff to go through. We finally got... Let me turn you around. We finally <laughs> was able to get into our shed after my grandma started getting some of her stuff in. Or stuff out. So, we've gotten stuff out into the shed, into the shed, and then we finally got room to go through our belongings to start putting them up in the house. So, I'm not too mad about it. Um, it does look chaotic, but you know, it's not going to be like that forever. And the way I just look at it is, it's life. Things are going to happen. Good morning. Good morning. I slept the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Good. Guys, so I'm in the bathroom for this one. Um, I don't know. I don't know where to start with this. So I'm going to be open and honest and real with you guys. I'm going to try to make this quick. Okay, so... I have Charcot Marie Tooth. It is a, a neurological, neuromuscular, crippling disease. And I've had a wheelchair since I was about four, four or five. And this is my third, this is my third chair because like I've pretty much stayed the same weight and I've stayed the same height. But anyways, um, so this chair that I have, there's a couple of things. First of all, it's a smart drive. I absolutely love the smart drive. I physically can't handle it. The spikes on my chair like hit my fingers. So I don't know, I don't know if they're going to try different wheels or what, but I know I have to have the spikes to hold on the, the wheel. And the other thing is, even with the grip gloves, I have no control over it. Like I can't stop it, I can't, I have no control. So, I'm trying to figure something out with children's to see if we can get, like, different tires. And the front tires is, like, the casters. The casters, I don't know how to call it, which is how you call it. But I have to get bigger ones because they have the standard ones. And I, like, I live where there's gravel and I live where there's grass. I cannot even leave my own home if I wanted to with my chair. So we're going to try something different with that. I'm trying to see if I can either get a scooter or a chair like my old one where it was a hybrid. So it had, like, you guys, you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. And there was a battery in the back of my old chair, and it was a hybrid. So the battery gave it power, but everything was in the wheels. So, the like, the, the grips of the wheels is where all of the... The light shine through and it turned me out. But it was like the, um, it's like how I controlled everything. So like a little bit is pushed back, it, all, it stopped. Um, I held it and turned. It, it did everything for me in that chair, if that makes sense. So, um, if I can't get that chair back, I'm hoping and praying 
that I can go through patient aid again and see if patient aid can work with children's or something and see if they can get me that hybrid chair because I need that hybrid chair. Like that hybrid chair is what got me around. Um, it was a little bit on the heavy side because the wheels, but I have Daniel who can pick that up and carry it for me. And um, if I pop it apart, you know, like I've, I've got it worked out. And even if I can't carry it, I'm hoping to get a a ramp onto the back of the van. That way I can ramp it up in there. So that will be a plus. Um, so that's another modification is with the ramp and the chair. Um, where I'm coming with this is that I am almost 24 years old. I'll be 24 next month. And I have my my feet and leg muscles are getting weak and I try to keep them um, active and everything but I have a really bad hip I have hip dysplasia in my left hip really bad severe and then I've got it in my right hip because of my left hip um we're we're trying to postpone it we're trying to postpone the hip surgery until I'm 30 but we're looking about age 26 27 I have to get a double hip replacement so that, that's not always fun. Um, but even without my hip, like, I am relying on my chair more and more. And that's a sad, sad truth of the reality. And I face this thing where it's so funny, and I may sound like a hypocrite, but I try to be an advocate for my children that way, you know, and for everybody else, but I try to be an advocate that's like, just because you need these things doesn't make you any different and it's okay to be different it's okay to need a wheelchair and braces and um everything that you need for your disabilities and everything like it's okay right you see what i'm saying but at the same time like i face myself struggling because i'm a mom of three kids and i try to like and I'm in this catch-22 with myself because I try to I try to be as active as I can, but I can't really play in the yard. I can't really, um, like, I can't run. I can't chase after them. I, you know, like, I can't do these things that I need to do. And I would love to be able to run. I'd, be able, I'd love to be able to skip, jump rope and everything with them. I'd love to be able to do it. And I have, a, I have a baby who's four months old today, so sad hard truth reality is, is like, I'm, I'm trying to make the best of what I can with situations, and I, I know I'm not giving them my best, because I have to keep taking breaks. I can't go to the zoo without my chair. I can't, I can't do these things I need to do. And I'm, I'm just breaking up. I'm breaking open and being honest with you that I have a hard time. I have a hard time just like anybody. And I'm trying to prolong the walking and everything like that. Like I do not want to be a full-time wheelchair user by the time I'm like 25. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to say, stay physically active and everything, and I'm praying, like, I know my CMT is going to get worse, but I am praying that when I get the double hip replacement, or even just one and then the other, however it works out, I'm hoping that it will help me better in the long run. You know what I mean? Um... Like, there's no cure for CMT. It's just going to get worse. Braces and, you know, modifications help. But it's just, it's what I face. Um, anyways, like I said, I try to be an advocate for my children. But at the same time, like, I find myself saying, like, I don't need this. I don't. I don't want this. But in reality is, I need this. You know, like, I need. And I'm not trying to rely on the chair, like I just said. Um... I just, I feel different, and the funny, the funny thing about it is, is, like, I try to be an advocate, so, like, when I'm in it, like, you know, I'm taking pictures, and, you know, I'm showing other moms and parents and 
um, aunts and uncles, grandparents, you know, whatever the case may be, that you can be a you can be a parent in a wheelchair, you know, like it doesn't doesn't modify anything or it doesn't make anything different. But yet I find myself at the same time, I feel like by doing that, I am bringing, um, I'm like, hey, look at me, hey, look at me, hey, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. And it's funny because, like, I know I need that chair, but it, it's so crazy because I find myself, and it's not because I take pictures or anything like that, but I find myself that there's a battle with me where I'm like, I, I kind of like, I kind of feel the voices of what others say. You know what I mean? Like all my life I've grown up trying to be normal and trying to fit in. So when I use my chair, I'm like, this isn't normal. This isn't, this isn't how you fit in. This is bringing, this is making a scene and all eyes drawn on you and it's crazy. Like, it's crazy to be like that, but it's the sad truth reality. Like, I'm just in this catch-22 in my life right now where I'm, like, I'm trying to be an advocate. I'm trying to help others. I'm trying to come to terms. I do need my chair more. Um, I'm trying to make modifications and stuff, like putting Lex in his baby carrier because he's too little just right in my lap. So if I put him in the baby carrier on me, and I have my chair, then Daniel and the kids can be in the car, or, you know, using the car, whatever, the, well, you know, whatever the case may be when we go shopping. Um, but I just, like, I hear, like, these demons and everything in my head saying, you're doing this for attention, you're, um, you don't need this, you're just trying to make it harder on everybody else's life, you're trying, you know, like, these stupid little demons going in my head when that's not the case and it's it's just it's something that I fight with myself because like I said growing up um I had when I I always had to wear my braces and I always like even without my braces I walk differently than everybody else and I just I hated being made fun of I hated being the center of attention I hated being I just hated it I absolutely I I try to be as much normal to not be in people in the spotlight as possible. Like, Daniel, I absolutely love him. Like, I keep saying like because I'm about to cry. But he he knows what I have, and he's fine with it. He's okay with it. He's, he's more than a backbone. But he doesn't, he doesn't see it on the daily that I'm different. I walk different. I, like, he does joke around and say, like, I'm built like an 80-year-old woman who's going through every single surgery that she needs possible. But it, it's jokes. I love him. It's it's funny. I laugh at him with him. Now, if I didn't know him, I wouldn't laugh about it. But, guys, that's just the, that's just the harsh reality of what I'm facing right now in my life. And I'm trying to open up and tell you guys. And, yeah. My hair is a mess. I have to clean the house. Um, I have to find the band to my bracelet. I think it's out in the camper at my grandma's because um, here's the thing. A couple of months ago, back when I was pregnant with Lex, I couldn't. I, I Like I said, I can't use my chair. There's like absolutely no way possible that I can use that chair. Um, like as much as I try. So... I put the band up in a bag of rice to get the water out of it. What's up, sis? Ow. The wristband and rice. And then I took it out of the rice. And I went to go check it, but I knew, like, I had to wait for it to fully dry, blah, 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 blah. So I put it up, and I have no idea where I put it up at. I've been through everything in this house. I've been through everything in the camper, or everything in the car and the van. Uh, when we had the shed by the camper, I went through everything in the shed. Because everything in the shed came here. I can't find that wristband. I I feel so awful that I can't find it. Um, the best thing I know to do is look in the camper and see if it's out there. So today, we're going to go out there. I have to find that wristband. I told Daniel, like, I am going to try my damn hardest 
to do what I need to do so that I can use that chair, um, even if it's a death hazard to me, because it's a death hazard, as crazy as it is. But I need to be there for my kids. I need to be active with them. And I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Even if I just wheel it around the house. Like, in the house, I don't have a problem wheeling it. Because in the house, I just try to use my chair for cleaning. And, and more of like a mobile chair for me to move around. If that makes sense. Um, out and about. Going down ramps. I can't do it. Um, I do get wore out in the house, but I don't get wore out as much as if I am standing or walking around because I get really sharp pains, my legs give out, they go numb, they go tingly, um, and I'm just, I'm exhausted, like 10, 15 minutes if of standing, I'm exhausted, like I am done for the day. Um, but I'm trying to push that, I'm trying to get out and walk more, I'm trying I'm just trying, you guys. Isn't that the best we can do is try? Like, right now in my life, I can't give it my all because, like, parks are closed and everything like that. But I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. So, tomorrow at the family reunion, I plan on, if I find the wristband, I plan on taking it and trying out all the wheels and everything like that. Playing around with it. Seeing if I get the gist of hang, handling it. Like, I can handle it. I know how to turn it. I know how to, like, tap the bracelet to stop it, tap the bracelet to go, tap the bracelet to put it into, like, a consistent mode. I know how to do all that. It's, I can't stop the wheels, if that makes sense. I just, I can't stop it. Alright, I'm going to figure something out with my life. Tag along with me. And I just want to have heart heart with you guys. So, whatever happens the rest of this day, just stay tuned and watch. Alright guys, let me... Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good. Everyone has been telling me that you got me hood. You're playing it big time. You're feeding me lies. Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties. But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them. Reason. All right, so I have not told Mason what it is. Aubrey knows. Aubrey was at the Hi. store with me when we got when we got the stuff for what we're about to get. Yeah, it's I'm a surprise. So, it's totally. Go ahead. I'm so excited to close my eyes and see what it is. Okay, your sister knows, but she hasn't seen it. Your dad's seen it. Okay. And I didn't vlog. Uh, okay, it was the woman messaging me. But um, Daniel seen pictures. It was, we've kind of been wanting to get this surprise, but um, it was totally last minute um, because I'm the one that if I want to get it, I have to do it in the urge of the moment. So you guys will know. What do you think, bud? What? What do you think it is? Uh, Don't pick your nose and eat it. That's gross. I think it is... Um, I don't know. Take a guess. Um, a puppy dog? Why would we get a dog when we have three of them? I need four. What if I told you it was another baby? It was a baby sister. You don't want a baby sister? No. Aubrey's your baby sister. I don't want Aubrey. <gasps> Mason, don't say that. She loves you. She keeps on scratching me and trying to dance with me. And hmm. I want to dance my own. If I put on my own music, I want to put on my own music. Sibling love, right? No, it's okay. Come here. Come here. Get up here. You ready? Mm -hmm. She's so scared right now, but she's Oh, I so believe cuddly. it. We I was getting his reaction. What is it, bud? See, yeah. she's so sweet. You, you look, she loves having her chin rubbed. <laughs> but like I said, I would definitely take her to vet as soon as possible. I just felt cuz my sister-in-law's got the other female right. and she let me know that they have worms. What do you think? So. Good. 
She's super, you just let, she's super cuddly when she gets to know you, and she loves, like I said, she just loves her neck. You have to have that ball, and it'll jump, yeah. and you have to, like, mm -hmm. swipe it. Yeah, my son's got Tom the cat. Huh. Skylo is Skylo is um, messing with Mason's shoe, playing with it. She loves to put herself in people's shoes. Like she's so small. Like she looks big on camera, but she's pretty small. She, I think she was the runt of the litter. But yeah, so I'm making loaded potato soup, and then I think for lunch when Daniel gets home, or maybe later, I'm just gonna, or maybe even as a snack, we're gonna throw some shrimp in. And guys. I'm almost 24 years old, and I have been terrified to eat fish. Like, I would eat it, like, if it was from, like, Long John Silver's or something. But I kind of refuse to eat shrimp. What is she chasing? She found something to chase. I think it's, like, a little dust bunny or something. But anyways, um, she, what was I saying? I was mentally scarred as a child by, not my grandma that I live with, but my grandma, my, my mom's mom. She was with this guy who would, like, get fish, put it in the back of his van inside coolers, and they would be in the back of his van for a couple of days, dead. And then he would go and sell them. And then the live ones he would put, live or dead, he'd put them in the bathtub for a couple of days. Um, leave, take them, leave the eyeballs in them, and leave gills and stuff, like scales. And I know that's not everywhere and everything, so I'm slowly getting into eating, like, salmon and tilapia and stuff like that. Um... Because, like, fish is, like, the only thing I won't eat. Fish and anchovies, granted, anchovies are the same thing. But I will never eat anchovies. Ever. Ever. But this is, like, a chatty vlog. Um, over the weekend, we did 4th of July at my grandma's. I have pictures. And then um, we did a birthday party and stuff. I didn't vlog much there. Honestly, the kids played at the water park. And I had my power assist chair. And I was going around the park just riding it. Huh? Yeah, it was because of the road. It was like kind of on an angle. He somehow me going like to an angle a lot. So I've done that. Um, I've got dishes I have to wash. I don't know what in all year I'm going to see today. But just bear with me. And guys, this is I'm kind of getting back back in the vlogging again. I know I keep saying that, but things happen. Um, Skyla, baby, what are you going after? She's such a silly kitty kitty. Mommy, you know what? She went over there when David turned up with that up there. Was she? And I tried to get off and I got her off. Gotcha. But, yeah. So I don't know when all you guys are going to see the day. Um, I might feel like the little baby Lexaford baby food. I don't know. He is four months old. I am. I believe in giving babies four months. Or baby food when they're ready. Lex has been doing all the signs and stuff. He can sit up on his own um, with just a little bit of support, not much. Um, he's really advanced for his age, just like my other two were. So he's had baby, or uh, he's had blueberries. What has she got? Is that my. Okay, get her out of the bag, please. Thank you. But um, she's wanting you to pet her. Oh, no, she's. She's just wanting to pounce. She's playing. <laughs> you see the kitty over there? See, Mama, I didn't see the kitty last night. I was sleeping. I was sleeping. Hi, baby. Who's a happy little baby? Mama, mama, mama. What is your name? What's your name, bub? Ooh. You see yourself? <laughs> Who is that? Is that a tongue? Is that a tongue? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a cute little baby. You're so cute. You want to do dishes today, Lex? All by yourself? All by yourself? Mama baby. Mama's little baby. Mommy's little baby. 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 
Yay! Oh, piggy butt. All right, we're going to get the dogs and let them calm down, cool down, because it's hot out. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so we just got off the phone. My hair is crazy. I'm trying to keep legs from pulling it. But we just got off the phone with the company who did my wheelchair, and they said that the band, um, they have an updated one, one that I can better use, and that the band that I have has been known for glitching. And um, it wasn't a big problem, but it was, like, rare. So we're going to update the band. Huh? Yeah, Bubba Boo. So we're going to update it. And I have an appointment coming. I have to wait um, for the guy. I want to say his name, but i got to wait for the guy to um, get it through insurance and everything so we can set up a day and a time. That way he can come and service it. Hi, Bubba Bears. What's him doing? Listen to ah, there him is. There him is. You such a cutie. I wish you would take a nap. An actual nappy poo. An actual nappy poo. Woo woo woo. <gasps> nappy poo. What's him doing? You're so cute. I. You might hear the doggos, but um, we're going, I'm going to get the kids' this lunch. I made potato soup, like you guys know, and I'm going to get them some lunch. Ah, Bubba, you guys sit in your swing so I can get them some lunch? You guys sit in your swing? Kids have the cat. Hang on. Let me see what she All right, guys, so I just kind of off camera but I just um, scraped some like potatoes in here for them. Mason do you want some? Yeah. This stuff is like super good. I don't know if I guys showed you this or not but it's like this onion salt that's like um, seasoned blend used for potatoes, eggs, veggies and more. I love it. I know it's like the same as anything else. <laughs> okay, go set the table. It's hot. It just came out. If I want more, huh. I have more. Yes. Um, ah. Yummer, yummer. Alright, I'm gonna go eat me some mashed potatoes with some cream cheese and stuff in it, and then I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish making this into um, potato soup, or we might even just leave it as like loaded baked potatoes and just eat it. I'll probably do that. I don't know. We'll see. It's spontaneous in this house. Spontaneous in this house. So we'll see. Alright, so I have you sideways like this. Uh, okay. So anyways. I want to show you what I was talking about. I was come here. That way you understand. Okay, so these, we, we saw these on um, Fun Sheet for Free, uh, Jordan Page's YouTube channel. Just done them for a while, and we've done the chore charts and everything, but I like the schedules. We have a kitty cat. The kitty cat has nothing to do with it right now. But yes, we have a cat. And these are cool because it makes it a game. It gets all of the chores out on a lit, uh, out on a, um, out on a stick. So it's out of your brain and in their hands, like, as she says. Um, when I redo their summer chore chart, it said it's already July, but when I redo their summer chore chart, um, it makes it awesome enough that way <clears throat> they have their automatic get up, brush your teeth, make your bed, um, eat breakfast, blah, 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 but when it underneath chores, I'll be like, go pick two chores, three chores, whatever the case may be, and then that's what they do, and then when they get bored, I'll have, they'll have to get picked out of the board jar, okay, ready, mm -hmm. we're going to do some chores, well, my mom stopped by, 
And Aubrey got her hair cut. Uh huh. And then the kitty shoe on this that goes on my head. Not my headband things, but these things. And mm -hmm. the kitty likes them and she's licking them. And she wanted them not to have a nap. But everybody <laughs> would like a cat that would. Everybody would like a cat that because. Somebody wants a big cat or a small cat or stuff like that. You're right. But anybody, if anybody wants us, one wants a puppy, let us know. No, we're not showing the puppies on YouTube. All right, guys. So, anyways, my mom stopped by. The kids got their haircuts from my mom. Lex is sleeping, and the cat is absolutely adorable. And I lied. I said I was done vlogging, but I wasn't. I'm going to add this to this video since it was today. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.